Hi everyone, welcome to another PFC session. Today we are going to discuss a problem named what is a good strip. So let's move to the description part. Decision of characters to make them nice. Okay, that's the tagline. Okay, so let's call a string good if its length is even and every character in odd position of this string is different from the next character. That is, the first character is different from the second. The third is different from the fourth and so on. Okay, so for example, the strings good string and x, y, y, x are good strings and the strings bad a, a and a, a, b, c are not good string. Okay, this is bad is bad because it's of odd length double a, it's of even but odd portion character is equal to even portion character. Same with this also. Fourth characters even length but odd position characters same as even position A and A are same. Okay, that's why they are not good. Note that the empty string is considered good. Now we need to what do we need to do here? You are given a string as you have to delete minimum number of characters from this string so that it can become good. Okay, so for if it if an a string or uh, if a string is already good then no problem we will just print it as it is okay and the difference will be zero but if it's not good then we will have to make it good and in such a way that the decision will be minimum okay so we will have to print the difference also and the resultant string also okay so that's what it is written the output the first line the print one integer okay which is a minimum number of characters you need to delete from s to make it good in the second line then the resulting string s if it is empty you may leave the second line then blank or print it not print it at all okay so let's start the given first condition for a good string is first odd position character should be different than the even position character that is first character should not be equal to second position character third in character should not be equal to fourth character and so on okay and uh, length of a string must be even okay Th these are the only two condition for good string okay example this is our good string i mean a string named good okay here i have shown it's uh, the portion of characters okay so odd position even position okay so g is not equals to o correct so we are good here earlier then odd position and even position odd and even okay what is o is not equals to d to do good both have right conditions so till here it is good okay and then the uh, second condition length of a string is four which is even okay therefore good too it is also good okay so it's a good string now with this string bad b a d one two three other positions okay so odd position even position b is not equal to true okay and then e odd position there is no even positions okay so no more comparison of, of characters now find the length length is odd because length is equals to three okay so what will happen not good okay but we need to remove one character to make it a good string why because then the length will become even then the length will be equals to two which is even okay so after removal length will become even so all conditions satisfies now and uh, this is my resultant string okay so i first printed the difference between length of original and resultant okay so three minus two is equals to one that's why it is here and then b is my resultant string that's also should be printed okay now episode we will check the condition for good string but at the same time make a new string to with all the modifications okay i mean we are not going to modify the 
original string in its original place okay we'll modify it symbolically i mean in the in a new string okay so that's how we are going to do that and at last check the length of the new string and if even i mean the length is even then no further actions otherwise remove one character and it will be the output string okay because if something is of odd length just removing one item from that it will become even okay that's all for that so at last open to do sense in length of the input string and the modified string and in the modified string also yeah that's how the output is going to be see here this is the difference i mean how many remo uh, removals have been done and this is the real dead string okay so let's uh, move on with this record step one take an empty real dead string okay now this is the part where i am modifying and making a new string okay i will uh, draw in it later okay i'll show you how things are going to be done okay and uh, step two is i'm checking the length if even or not okay if even or not and in last part i am parenting okay so let's try then this a a b c is my string which is the one two this position though zero is the, it's the index but it is odd position why because it's the first position okay so keep that in mind i equals to zero okay let's traverse this whole thing now in the for loop i equals to zero initially my resulting string is empty okay look if the return dot length modulus 2 equals to equals to 1 it's empty so length will be zero so modulus 2 is not equals to 1 so we are in the else part so the return dot push string i okay so this will be pushed a will be here okay I was here, so push, done, okay. Now I is equals to one, means I is here, okay. Now what will happen? The Elton dot length modulus two equals to one, because that, because one is the length, one modulus two is will become one, okay. This is true part. Now, if the Elton, the Elton dot length minus one, it's always the last character, okay. That's what we are looking or comparing. Okay, so A is not equals to string of I, I is equals to one, so A. So A is not equals to a false, okay? So if it is false, then what? Do nothing, increment I, I becomes true. I will be here, okay? Now what will happen? Again, length modulus two, the written dot length modulus two equals to one, correct? Because there is one item only. It is true again. And what will happen? This last letter A will be compared with B. Okay. Because in the real time string, this is my odd position. And the position which is still vacant is my even position. Okay. We are, I mean, our main motive is to fill here. So that's why we are comparing for this place only. So don't just focus on this string only. Okay. Focus on this also. Because we are making a new string, okay? So that's it. So now we will compare this with this, okay? So A is not equals to B. So, so what will happen? The return dot push will push what? A string of I. A string of I is B here. So we will push B here, okay? Now what? I will be incremented. So I will be incremented and reach here c okay now what will happen again the return not length model is two now its length is two so two models two will become zero so this condition will be false i will be in the else part so the return dot push string of i i is three so c will be pushed okay so push done now what will happen i equals to four but now it will terminate right because four is not less than four terminate in the question value of n is given already okay see here this is the value of n okay i mean the length of the input string already given okay terminate so when it's terminate then we will go up with 
our second step, right? So it is saying if the Elton dot length modulus two is not equal to zero, means here the Elton dot length will give you three modulus two correct is not equal to zero. So what will happen? Then do the Elton dot pop. Okay, that's what we are doing. So what will happen? As you move one character right so what will happen it will become even length will be even correct now we are here so if it's removed then what will be its length new length equals to three minus one equals to two okay so here it will be like N was four, right? Four minus two equals to two will be printed. And what else will be printed? The resultant. What will be there? Because one was popped, so only A, B is left. A, B will be printed, okay? That's all. So I hope you understood it uh, well, the whole idea behind how to make these things. So that's how we do the minimum modifications and get our desired result, okay? So that's, I hope you people understood it well. So that's all for this session. Thank you.